welcome. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Ian Fulton. I'm a filmmaker, YouTuber, and multimedia designer. I'm here to teach you some things about filmmaking that can improve your, well, filmmaking. So today we're talking about shooting at night. Have you ever gone out to take photos of someone at night and it's just too dark, you can't get it to look any good? Well, the first thing we're gonna talk about is basic camera settings. If you're a more advanced photographer or videographer, you're not gonna to need to listen to this. So on a camera, you've got three major settings that are gonna help you to get your exposure right. That's shutter speed, aperture, and ISO. If you're out shooting during the day and it's quite bright, you can increase your shutter speed. ND filter on your lens so that you can maintain a wide aperture. So an f1.4 or f1.8, if you're shooting at night, you're gonna to have to find an environment that's fairly well illuminated. shooting at night, I do try and keep the ISO as low as possible. Basically, ISO is introducing artificial light. At this concert I shot recently, I didn't really want to increase the ISO any higher than about 800 or 1000 because it just starts to introduce far too much noise. Even with the aperture wide open and the shutter speed set to where I want it, it's going to be pretty dark. Use reflectors, use diffusers, um, shower curtains, anything you can get hold of, or a white umbrella in front of that light just to smooth that light out and give you a much, much more flattering look on your models. The light that I brought on this particular shoot was the Yongnu YN216. They're about 60 bucks on eBay. Comes with a bunch of different colored gels you can put on it to achieve different color temperatures. You can pop that light on any kind of stand, bring it with you, carry it portably, whatever you want to do. It's just so handy for taking anywhere, not having to plug it in and just boom, you've got light on your subject. So you don't just have to aim that light directly at your subject, you could bring it around behind them and use it as a backlight or a hair light. If you bring that light around the back, you can just absolutely make that hair just pop and glow and it's a really cool effect. So experiment with moving your light around and see what different effects you can get. You might want harsh shadows. You might want shadow on the side of the face. That's cool. If that's what you're going for, just experiment with that. Get rid of the diffuser and move the light around into different positions and see what it does. If you want to achieve that really beautiful, soft, out of focus bokeh in the background, you're going to need a really wide aperture to give you that really beautiful, smooth, out of focus looking background. And finally, here's some video that I captured from that night shoot. See what you think. I'm going to play you the clip now. It's only a minute long. It looks really cool. See what you think. Take a look. So that's the big secret. Expose for the background and introduce lights to illuminate your subject. I hope you enjoy these tutorials. My name's Ian Fulton. Please leave a comment below if you've got something to say. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video. Okay. Can't believe I'm having a beer at this time of day.